Okay, for this assignment, you're going to have some more practice with Punnett squares uh, before we start our fish stick simulation. So in this scenario, we have cats. So in cats, short fur is dominant with the capital F allele, okay? And long fur is recessive with the lowercase f allele. What percentage of the offspring between parents with the following genotypes will have short fur? So I'm going to work through the first one with you, and then uh, you will do this one on your own. So I put pink squares so that we could fill in mom's genes. So mom is a capital F here. Oh, let's make it centered. Okay, and then a capital F here. And then I put blue boxes for dad's um, genes. So we have dad has capital F and lowercase f. So he is, so we're going to put a capital F here and a lowercase f here. Okay, now remember what these represent. Mom has two dominant genes. So she has homozygous dominant genotype. Dad has heterozygous dominant genotype. Remember, mom being uh, the two of the same letters, two of the same alleles, so it's homozygous because it's like saying twinsies, right? So they're twinsies, they match, okay? So dad is heterozygous genotype because he has two different uh, alleles there, two different genes. So now, remember that we've just got to carry the genes over. So I'm going to start here. Mom, I'm going to bring the F, the big F, the dominant F down. And dad, I'm going to bring the dominant F over. So insert a text box here. So I know that this baby is going to have FF for its genotype. Okay. So this next box represents a, a different baby, a different offspring, right? So we're going to bring down mom's capital F. Oh, I don't have to put in text boxes because it's a table. So if you just click in it, it'll type. I didn't have to put in the text box. All right. So continuing on, um, we're going to bring the lowercase f for short for over here to short for over here to this baby. So now I need to... All right, so now on this side, mom has that dominant F um, short fur gene. So I'm going to bring it down and put it in as F. And then dad has the dominant short fur, fur gene. So that is F, the capital F, excuse me. And so then um, bring down mom's capital F for short fur bring over dad's lowercase f for long fur. And I have these babies filled out. Now what we've got to figure out at this point is which babies have long fur, which babies have short fur. So if it says that the short fur is the dominant f, well, anywhere we see a dominant gene, remember, the dominant gene is the one that is expressed. It basically overpowers the recessive gene. So the recessive gene is carried on to the offspring sometimes, but it does not get expressed. Meaning when you look at the cat, you won't be able to tell if it has a recessive gene there because the short fur is going to take over. That cat is going to only show the short, short fur. So here, this baby, since it has the two Fs, the two dominant genes, we know it's going to have short fur, okay? Now here, even though there is a recessive gene present, since the dominant gene is there, it's the one expressed. So this, off, this offspring will have short fur. Maybe I should type in fur, okay? Okay, so this one's going to have short fur. All right. So now this one, again, we have both of them have the dominant short fur, fur gene. So I'm going to type in short fur. And finally, again, it's repeated. This one has short fur. 
Okay, so now they're asking you what percentage, what percentage of the offspring will have short fur, okay? Well, at this point, all I have to do is count because remember, it's sort of like a dollar. If I have four quarters, each square is, or rectangle, each rectangle is 25%. So 25, 25, 25, 25. So if I have four that have short fur, then I should know that 100% of the offspring will have short fur. So that's what I need you to add here as your answer. I may need to move these up so you have room to type. Okay. And so I'll have answer put in there and we'll say 100% of the offspring will have short fur. Okay, and I'll put, I'll move this up for you guys. So what you're going to do is fill out this Punnett square because over here it's the same thing with the cat fur, short fur being dominant and long fur being recessive. However, we have mom is heterozygous dom dominant, meaning it has one dominant allele for short, short fur and one recessive allele for long fur. But dad is homozygous recessive, meaning he has two recessive genes for long fur. So you have to work through your Punnett square and tell me what percentage of the offspring will have short fur in this scenario.